is the order of this council that you do not speak the name of Jesus or teach in the name of Jesus. Violation of this order will bring punishment upon you according to the law. For Christ also has suffered for sins. The just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit. Christ hath said that ye are the light of the world. A city which is set on a hill cannot be hid. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Go, stand, and speak in the temple to the people all the words of this life. The men whom ye put in prison are standing in the temple and teaching the people. We straightly command you that you should not teach in this name. And behold, you have filled Jerusalem with your doctrine and intend to bring upon us the blood of this man. We ought to obey God rather than men. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Him hath God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior, for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. And we are his witnesses of these things. And so is also the Holy Ghost, whom God hath given to those that obey him. to you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of God, you cannot overthrow it. Be careful, therefore, lest you be found even to fight against God. You were forbidden to preach in the name of the man Jesus, and yet ye have done so. For this violation, you shall be punished to the full extent of God's law. 